Hey everybody, it's Kojak. Thank you for checking out this video. I'm seeing posts and comments about the challenges of finding the right power and trim settings during approach and landing in the F4. And like I demonstrated in my previous video about three degree visual approaches, it is paramount to fly a stable and steady final approach in order to set yourself up for a good landing. The VFR pattern does not afford the same time frame for stability on final that a straight end provides. So in this video, I'll demonstrate techniques with pitch, trim, and power settings that I use in the VFR pattern. You'll hear me talking through the pattern in real time as I recorded the video, and my verbosity reflects the constant need for cross-checking airspeed, altitude, trim, and aircraft positioning. On the go. Um, we've got nails 9 o'clock. Uh, Positive break, gear up, flaps up. Trim and nose down. Tap, 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 tap on the trim. Tap, 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 tap. Holding it right there. Looking for 600 AGL. There it is. Request close. Close approved. Bob 41. Six degrees of bank. Right turn. 250. Crack in the power. Climb to 3500. Two hundred to level, level and off at thirty five hundred, crack in the power. Thirty five hundred, thirty five hundred, roll out point off the nose. Power's good, trimming it off. About fifty feet low, I'll accept that for now. Just about to be in the touchdown point. Gear down, flaps, trim the nose up, tap, 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 tap. All right, gear, flaps. Coming up on 210, the flaps are going to increase parasitic drag. So there's 210, there's the nose coming down, adding power up to about 82%, 84%. Tapping the trim nose up, just a couple of taps, tap, tap. There's 200. I want to maintain 200. Offset looks good. There's 45. Right turn, 45 degrees of bank. And bring the nose around. Descent rate is looking good at 1,000. AOA tone, that's fine. Good AOA tone. Can roll out a little bit. And starting to crack the power. 190 on the airspeed, cracking more power, bringing the power back, letting it bleed off, 180, settling on my aim point now, 170, correcting back to center line, 160, adding power, 160, 160, slowing trend, adding power, 155, add power, 160, cracking power, add power, aim point, airspeed, 160, cracking just a touch of power, captain's bars, hold the power, transition to the end of the runway, touch, we'll full stop it right there, full back stick, speed brakes are Section 2 of the Dash 1 calls for slowing to on-speed AOA during the final turn. But that AOA speed in the turn is not final approach speed. It's 19.2 AOA speed, which is much higher than approach speed when you're banking and wing-loading the aircraft. Another important consideration that I've discovered about this module, just like its real-life counterpart, the F4 will quickly move into the region of reverse command when slowing below 19.2 AOA speed. Now, without getting into aero engineering principles, what this means is that total drag greatly increases at slow speeds, and raising the nose creates more drag than lift, leading to an increased sink rate. Fortunately, the J79 engines provide ample thrust for the full range of landing weights to arrest this trend, as long as the throttles are promptly pushed to max power. And keep in mind, max landing weight is 46,000 pounds for the Block 45. In closing, I want to make it clear that this isn't the only way to fly the VFR pattern. This is just a demo of techniques that I have found useful thus far in my evolving understanding of this aircraft. I hope you'll find them useful in developing your experience with the F4 as well. Thank you for watching, 
And thank you for your continued support, your comments and suggestions, and for subscribing to the channel. Fly safe and have fun.